Hey guys, welcome to Infinity Model. In this video, I'll be telling you guys about the new update that's really exciting the entire mobile 3D community. And the fact that Blender on Android has been like Blender has been brought to Android, and this is one of the most amazing fact, um, amazing thing ever um, Blender has ever done. So, without further ado, let's go into it. So, firstly, when we install the app. I'll be dropping the link in the description on how I uh, you to download the app and I'll be giving you procedures because when downloading it I face a lot of trouble so I don't want you to face the same so I'll be telling you and plus I don't want to make this video really really long so to avoid me doing you know um something like that app so anyway so actually let's go back to that so yeah so when download the app so it's this how the interface will be but you want to give it time because it might take a little bit of time don't actually watch the app itself just give it a little bit of time so things are going to install properly if you use this and open this way so just give it time so when you open the app you get this interface at first so you can uh, you know give any description or likes like uh, something you like so for me I like only this team whereby I click on the team and I come to this direction whereby I come to minimal Minimal dock. So click on the minimal dock and it changes the entire interface of the app. So this one was amazing thing I like though. So firstly you can interact mostly whereby in terms of Prisma 3D you just or you for the just using one finger you can you know move around and stuff. Right here in this blender app you can so instead you're going to be making use of this stuff right here so we're going to be making use of this right here so going to, first of all we click on it no actually click just hover right so when you hover right you can go around and when you go around you you know every direction you wish for it to go and also you want to go close to the character uh, character or mesh we're going to use this icon here we're going to be using this icon that looks like it's um you know, like a search bus or a spyglass or something like that so we're going to just hover over it and go forward and if you want to go backward you just you know take it downward and you know up and down and stuff like that oh just play around with it so the next thing the next one is we want to move around the entire stuff like you know moving around a mesh or around the world itself so next is this thing that, um, that looks like an arm stuff so we just use that and move around move left right up down so but you can go close and stuff so the next one which is the camera is this one so it's <coughs> basically it's for moving but uh, it's a camera mode so we just click that go to camera mode and yeah you can click that again to go out and the next one is for grid view so we have grid view itself there so <clears throat> talking about the first step so the next one is we'll be talking about this stuff right here these are options this stuff mostly uh okay there's a prisma trend in record 40 you know what this is actually so it's mainly used for highlighting well in blender you just can tap on a mesh tapping on a mesh will actually give you something you're looking for so instead you just go to Scale whereby you just you know, drag your finger over the uh, mesh, just drag your finger over it, and then you can highlight. So you highlight the model and you have what you're looking for. So <clears throat> the next one, well, I can tell what it is. Maybe it's for sculpting. I don't know actually. So I won't talk anything about that. So the next one we're talking about is for the direction. You can move x axis, you can move y axis, you can move oh, highlight. You can move x axis, you can move, uh, sorry. X axis, you know, Y axis, and you know, Z axis, you know, the 3D dimension. So, the next one is to rotate. Uh, just to be clear, these are where I'm tapping. And the next one is rotate, next comes after it is the scale, and I'll well, be tapping this one later. So, you can use the rotate to move around. And if you want to do it perfectly, sorry just from the center and move around and plus we're talking after next we want to do out 
Okay, let's write that first. So we click the next one, which is scale. So we click on scale, and we can scale up, we can scale down, we can scale sideways. Oh, sorry, this. Oh, no, so we can scale sideways. And what I just did to make it bigger, so you can from the center up and we can scale down. So, so this. Last one, well, I still have on this, but I don't know what it actually is. But this one I know is for drawing actually. So we'll go for this fourth or fifth one, I think so. So let's click on that. This is for everything actually, both for the um, movement, for the movement, for the uh, what I call it, the rotation, and the scale. This arrow up here, I'm oh, sorry. So this arrow up here. Is for the direction. We can move to the direction. This arrows here, and the next one is for the rotation, which is this green one, the red one, and this stuff. And this middle one is for the scaling. If you want to do it all, you can use the center button. So, which you can do. This is for the rotation. This is for direction, and for the middle, you can do. The just move around and this one sorry the skill you can you know size an object something like that so next we're talking well let's say this the next one which is for drawing well I don't really know what this is for honestly I don't really know what it's for so let's just move around and this is how it is so I'll be doing that so Let's undo all this stuff we've done because undo is one of the most important things we need to treat tomorrow in case we make mistakes and we want to undo those mistakes. So right here we'll go to we'll go up in the left corner where you'll find file edit and render. So we're using this edit right here, so click on edit. Oh sorry, let me take away the cursor. Then we'll click on edit and then you see the first thing which is uh undo so you also have a shortcut to undo stuff which is ctrl z which i'll be showing you later so we can click the undo and go back we click the undo again and yeah well, let's just go ahead and click the undo and okay and okay. well this is just the little mesh which i'll be showing you right now so firstly i want to show you guys how we can see the file. Then I'll talk about to delete the mesh. So, firstly, you go to a file, or you go to the file here, which is this. So when you click that, you click the file. When you click on the file, you get these options. You might see you want to create a new place, and then you are open to open the project you've maybe saved, and then you have the save. And I don't know about the comment actually, so I won't say anything about it. So we say um, in terms of the uh, save and uh, save as. So the shortcut here is Control S for save and Control no, Shift Control S for save as. So I'm going to use the uh, Shift Control S to uh, for save um, to save as a project. So next, this is how we do it here. So let's undo that. So you come down here to this point right here this uh you know mouse little mouse thing so well, let's use this part to make you understand so this is the stuff i'm talking about let's zoom closely to it oh you can actually see so uh you click that just sometimes it's kind of hard to get. I don't know about your device, but my device has a little bit of issue. So we're going to click that. Just click keep it, um, keep clicking that place until you get this tab. So we have the option to, you know, like in the keyboard, we have the shift, we have the shift, we have the control, we have the alt, we have the enter, and it's page two. We have the air symbols, we have the delete, and the third, we have this. So, you want to take away this, you can click on this close to take it away. So, and to save a project like we all, like we saw, shift control S. So, firstly, you click shift and second, you click control, and then you can see S in this first place. So, you click on page two and then you click S. 
So it takes you away to time actually. So I'm going to close this and then we're going to save the file. Mind you, saving file in Blender must be dot Blender. Well, I just accidentally deleted something. So I will save, I will save this file name as demo. Demo. Yes, I have a project name demo one two, so I'm going to say demo two. So dot blend. Demo two dot blend. So click done, and then we say save as. So we've already saved the file. So now to delete image in. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna take this away. So undo and undo. So to delete image in Blender, so you do the same thing whereby you found the delete, and then you click this, you click that same part, and then you go to the page two, and then you see delete. When you click delete, it's going to delete. If it doesn't delete, you have to highlight that. Oh, sorry. Let's take this off again. So click on this stuff, and then we have to highlight this again, and then we go to that tab again, and then we click on delete. If it doesn't highlight it again, and then press delete, and then it's gonna go. And that's all. So nextly, we're going to talk about how to import a mesh in Blender. So the first thing you're going to go to oh, sorry, go to add this tab right here so this is add so we click on add we have this right here where you can import mesh curves surface metal balls and so on and you can import lights and camera so first let's import a mesh we have plane cube um circle uv sphere and so on we also have the blender monkey actually so we're going to import in the blender monkey because this is one of my favorite so import the blender monkey and we have the blender monkey and let's say we import a cube also so we have a cube so uh, we're going to use the direction so we're going to zoom closely and use the direction um the direction stuff to move and then move away a little bit I'm going to move away to this piece. So we're going to highlight the both of them and use the direction to put them up. And yeah, this is where it becomes tricky when trying to highlight the same um, mesh. I'm trying to highlight the same mesh, it becomes very confusing. So, well, I don't know, I just use a little bit of tactic to highlight a little bit of that mesh to get it. So that's how I do my. You can find your own method and try your own way. So I think this is all I know about the audit of Blender. So in case I get a new update and you know how to make use of it, I'm dropping you updates about this Blender stuff and start you know giving you guys a bit about it. So please like and subscribe and also do better to share this to your friends and all like that so we can share this to your friends and also See you guys later in the next video.